Hey guys, today we have two laptops here. One is running Windows 11, the other one is running Windows 10, and I'm gonna show you today how to get Windows 11 on this new machine since the CPU is only about seventh gen. So of course you're gonna get that error message that says, you know, this CPU is not compatible with Windows 11, but I'm gonna show you how to bypass that because I feel like that's crappy for a seventh gen CPU not support Windows 11. So let's get started. All right, so here is our Windows 10 machine. Like I said earlier, you can see we're in Windows Update, it's fully up to date, but you can see we can't even get to Windows 11 because it doesn't meet the uh, certain requirements by Windows 11. This is a uh, 7 Gen i7, 16 gigs. I mean, Beast Machine can handle Windows 11 no problem, but we need to get it installed. So to bypass it, you can either do one of two options. You can get Windows 11 on a thumb drive by just Googling download Windows 11 and, and it'll actually burn the ISO to a thumb drive. You can boot up to this. It'll wipe everything off here and you can install Windows 11. But if you wanna do an, a straight upgrade so you can s save your files and everything that's on your computer, then I'm going to show you another method to bypass that prompt. So to bypass this, what we're going to do is first we need to download the Windows 11 ISO. So once you get to this page, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see download ISO right here. And you're going to go and hit download. You're going to be asked to um, select what version. We're going to do Windows 11 here. And then it's going to also ask you language. So go ahead and select your language, start the download. Then we're going to go to Microsoft's official web page here that just shows you, they actually tell you how to bypass this yourself. Um, if you Now they don't recommend it uh, because of hardware ties and everything, but like I said, we can go ahead and proceed. So we're gonna scroll down, you can see we're gonna create a registry key here. So now we need to open up our registry editor. So open up your registry editor, then we're gonna browse to H key local machine, system setup, and then MO setup. And we're gonna create a new registry key here. If it's not there, go ahead and create it. So what is, that gonna do is we're gonna right click, go to new, and we're gonna create new D word 32 bit value. And we're gonna name it allow upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. So I already have that here. And then when you create it, you're gonna set that value to one. So once that's created as one, then I'm gonna delete this value here that I created. Yep. And now once you have that created, you have your ISO done downloading. Now you're gonna to wanna to reboot the machine. So let's go ahead and restart our machine. All right, once our machine reboots, let's go to that file explorer, go to our downloads, and that Windows 11 ISO we just downloaded, now we're gonna go ahead and right click, and we're gonna do mount. So once we mount, we're gonna hit open, and then we're gonna go ahead and run the setup. And then hit yes to this, wait for this to load up. And we're gonna hit change how to set up download updates. We're gonna say not right now, then hit next. That'll make things go a little bit quicker because it's not trying to get updates and drivers before it starts the installation. Now, in most cases, when you're running this, you're gonna get that prompt that says, your PC is not compatible, and you're not gonna be able to install Windows 11. But since we add that registry key and we restarted the machine, the installation is gonna detect that, and we should get a green light onto installing Windows 11 here. I have seen so many other videos of people doing this in same installation, but doing such a convoluted way where you have to download like a Windows 10 ISO and then move and install that ESN to the other Windows 11 installation. I've seen um, a lot more register keys added. I've seen different PowerShell scripts that you had to run. I mean, so convoluted ways to get Windows 11 installed when it's just a simple registry key edit. Uh, actually not even edit, it's just you're just adding that registry key, restarting the machine, I like doing the, the ISO install because I feel like it's easier uh, downloading the ISO and then running it. And here we're going to be installing Windows 11 here shortly. I mean, it was that easy. All right. Now we will get this prompt because it detected that register key and it's just letting you know that, you know, there's certain requirements with Windows 11, but we're going to go ahead and just bypass that. And we're going to accept those terms of service that it's not, you know, what Microsoft recommends. We're going to hit accept and then boom, we get the green checkbox, install Windows 11 Pro, keep personal files. That's perfect. And hit install. Great. Now you're installing Windows 11. That's how you can bypass it. So easy. So right now it's just finishing up some Windows updates, the install. So just let this run. Be patient because it's doing updates as well. All right, you guys, it's all done. Here is Windows 11 on that machine that said Windows in when it was in Windows 10 said that it was not compatible. And there you have it, you guys. That's how easy it is. One register key change, reboot, and you can install Windows 11 on any machine.